as we are now joined in our post game by USF uh, second year head coach Frank Lavricia. And Frank, uh, your opening remarks uh, on the contest here tonight, it was even after two games, but Pepperdine had that one run in game three. They, went and they ran off 11 unanswered, and that kind of gave them the momentum here in this match tonight. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, and uh, I think they, uh, they did a nice job, and they kind of got their mojo back in that streak. And it took a little wind out of our sails, but uh, but I like uh, I like how we fought in general um, and, and really stuck to a game plan. And when we were in our rhythm, uh, it, the game plan worked against them. You know, you missed a couple of your players tonight. No Garcia, no Ashman. So a little bit different rotation. How did you deal with that, uh, especially along the the front line, where both those players would certainly be valuable for you? Yeah, we uh, we asked uh, Marioline. Uh, the middle and, and she's a senior leader. She did a great job coming in gave us some blocking help And then uh, we asked Victoria to come in on the outside and, and I thought she did a great job for us really kind of lit it up uh, offensively um, And so I think I think those two really helped us out and we just collectively we just had to hold it together a little bit longer and uh, But hats off to Pepperdine. They're really good and and once they got it going I, we saw how good they were. You know, you spent a little bit more time with your team after the match in a huddle over there. I know you're not going to give us every secret you told them, but in general, what did you have to say to your, your young team over there? Yeah, uh, that we're going to learn from that situation in that third set and, and be able to work out of it a little bit quicker so it doesn't cost us as heavily. Uh, that and uh, But that, that we did such a great job with the game plan uh, and they fought so hard. So, uh, so those are the things that we talked about and a little bit about defending better against their right side attack. You've got the LMU Lions coming in here on Saturday. The Lions won uh, in their match at Santa Clara tonight. They go to two and two overall. They're 12 and three, two and two in league play. They're 12 and three overall. They're one of those teams listed as the RV receiving votes in the top 25. So that's a top 40 team that you're going to have here in this building on Saturday. Preview the match for our viewers out there. Sell them on why they want to be here Saturday afternoon at noon. Well, we have such a good young team, and uh, they're playing their hearts out. They're uh, doing a great job in terms of the cohesion, and you can see the chemistry of the team. Uh, as you come to the match or if you view it uh, on the stream. But I, I really like this group. Uh, they're working their tails off and they're competing hard. And, and that's what uh, that's going to it's going to uh, evolve and allow us to be a very competitive team in the WCC. Any uh, chance we might see either Garcia or Ashman? I, I, and Ashman was wearing a boot cast and behind you, you can't see her, but she's taken the cast off. I don't know if that's a good sign or if you're going to be a little bit more healthy here on Saturday. We're, yeah, we're hoping and uh, we've got this stellar uh, trainer, athletic trainer, Nicole's doing a super job. And so, so hopefully uh, she, she has the Midas touch with them. All right, well, Frank, uh, we'll see you out here on Saturday for the Dons and the Lions. Thank you so much. All right, USF uh, second-year head coach Frank Lavricia. The Waves win it in four sets. USF and LMU here Saturday at noon right here on the W.TV. You can get your tickets online at usfdons.com. For our executive producer and director, we'll win, and our entire broadcast crew, Pat Olson, thanks for watching, and so long from the hilltop on the W.TV.